Greetings to you all in Jesus' name. My name is Samantha and I'm from Canada. It's my second time this year at UFIC Church and I'm feeling so blessed to be here, especially blessed by what the prophet Emmanuel Makindua is teaching us on how to pray. Last week specifically, he was teaching on how to pray in tongues. And since I was saved in 2020, I've been earnestly seeking the gift of tongues and not been able to do it. I had people pray for me. I pr prayed myself asking for that gift. I even pretended to do it and thought maybe like a baby learns to speak their native language, God would honor my attempts at doing it, but it wasn't working out. And last week, the, the prophet really was teaching on how to pray and how to pray in an unknown tongue. The Holy Spirit is the master communicator. He specializes, he knows the language of the Father. He knows how to talk to you, he knows how to talk to the Father. Jesus knows how to talk to you, he knows how to talk to the Father. So allow him to guide you as you are praying. And this week, during prayer, uh, at the beginning of service today, I got the ability to do it. So I'm so happy and blessed and I'm looking forward to hearing more on how to pray. Today's service was a very powerful service. In this season of prayer, we have just started the year and the prophet has started the year in a very unusual way of prayer. So yesterday, on Saturday, in the morning, the prophet sent a Christian spiritual link, a platform where he sends messages to the people who listens to him, to the people who follows him. He sent a Christian spiritual link message saying, Prepare for tomorrow's service. I am praying for you and continue praying for alignment and remember to come and to prepare for tomorrow's service. So as we came in on Sunday today, people were prepared, people were aligned to, to hear the word of God, to hear what the prophet was saying. As soon as the service started, we started with prayer from the intercession. The prayer was charged today. People of God, the prayer today was massive. The praise and worship ministered very well. And as soon as the prophet came in, he was dressed very nicely. And the prophet was in his elements, ministering in this level and in this environment and in this spirit of prayer. This week we learned on forgiveness and the importance of forgiveness. And the way I understood forgiveness is different than the way he was teaching today. Um, today he went deeper into my understanding and revealed to me that we forgive others, we forgive our enemies also for ourselves because they're carrying a piece of us that every relationship we have with all of the people in our lives there's a piece of us in them so we must forgive them for the sake of ourselves that was a breakthrough for me and i was feel very enlightened by knowing that the word that was shared today is very applicable in my personal life because i now know how to pray uh, to forgive others differently to do it more thoroughly to do it to completion that I believe there's some bitterness left in me that I will work on this week because I wasn't forgiving properly and I'm grateful for the teaching today because now I understand. Every time we come here, we receive our daily bread. And today's message was so on point. It was so powerful. It was so revealing in the sense that we were told the powerful, the powerful ways of prayer. We were told that in order for us to be out of captivity, we need not only to pray for ourselves, but to pray for our friends. It is in the book of Job chapter 42, verse number 10. Where Job prayed for his friends and God turned his captivity. So we really, really, really need to pray for our friends in order for, uh, for our captivity to be removed away from us. And uh, there is also an important factor that he mentioned when he said that when we are praying, when we are growing spiritually, when we are being mentored into the spiritual things of God, there is a part of us that is extended to other friends and relatives. And by so doing, there is a part of us that exists in them. So it is important, brothers and sisters, it is important, everybody who is watching right now, to listen and to pray, to pray for our friends, to pray for our relatives so that they can be forgiven, so that we are set free on forgiving them as well. I enjoyed uh, the deep revelations that were coming from the man of God, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. 
We learned from the story of Job and how he managed to bring out some very important principles uh, that we can learn from. Job had his friends and we understand that there is something very, very critical about the people that we associate with in as far as friendship is concerned. You cannot separate yourself from your friends and it is important to know that your relationship with your friends affects so many facets of your life. And I actually enjoyed that. Uh, Job managed to pray for his friends and the prayer that he made for his friends brought deliverance even for on his part which shows that even when we are able to pray for those around us for those we love for those we care for we are able to even minister deliverance unto ourselves God begins to address our personal issues by the prayers that we make for those that we love, for those whom we call our friends. I'd never heard such of a thing that people can pray for your captivity to go. You have to pray for your friends. Usually out there, we know that a person has to pray for his own captivity to go. And all this is why we have been interceding and praying for a long time, praying for our own calamities and captivity. But today the Prophet came and gave us a very unique way of praying for a captivity to go. It was a wonderful service we had today and we have been having so problems in our lives but we couldn't be able to solve it because we didn't know what's the solution to those problems. But today our father, Prophet Emmanuel Makandua, taught us about forgiveness and prayer. It was something that we didn't know. It's a new revelation we have never heard from any man of God who preaches today. But you can listen, if you listen to what we learned today, it's something when we go back home today, we are able to forgive our, our relatives, our friends, everything that has been done unto us. It's something that now we are able to forgive and we are able to proceed with life. So what we learned today, it's something like if you forgive others, or you pray for other for God to forgive others, then your life will be delivered from some bondages which you had in your life. I'm a person who has who, who've been offended by people. I've been hit by people and it's been hard to forget. So today he taught about forgiving. So he healed me. I already forgive everyone who hates me. I feel relieved and I'll go home knowing how to forgive. There's something which, which I never managed to do all these years, to pray from, for people that offended me and hate me, but I never knew that those people, they already have part of me. I have to pray for them, I have to bless them, because they have part of me and I don't have to curse them, because I'll be, pay, I'll be cursing part of me. So I've learned that one and I'll always pray harder for them. You have sins that you have committed that you know, mistakes that you have made that you know, and you have forgiven yourself. But you still have parts of you that are not with you, that are with people around you. <laughs> that you, those parts are supposed to be forgiven as you forgive people that are in custody of those parts. It was also interesting to note that uh, forgiveness is one thing that we need to take seriously because as you forgive others, you have also ministered deliverance unto yourself. And these are some of the important principles that I picked from today's sermon. And I think uh, even as we shall continue to pray for those whom we love, uh, we shall also continue to forgive. And I also learned that it is God's uh, duty or God's profession to be forgiving people on a daily basis from morning till evening. I don't know if there's morning or evening in heaven, but from morning to evening, God is ministering uh, forgiveness to people the whole time. And that should also be our mode as God beings to be also forgiving people each and every day. So offenses do come. 
but we are supposed to be forgiving all the time. And it was also interesting to note that uh, when we talk about the concept or the phenomena of sin, sin is one thing that attracts sickness. Sickness is attracted to sin. And once you begin to become a host to sin in your life, you also become a host to sickness. So many people struggle in their lives with sicknesses that are not even theirs. The sickness belongs to the sin, and it is the sin that you are carrying that is attracting that sickness. Every sin is sick. Sicknesses, they come after sins. So if you have made sin your lifestyle, it means that your lifestyle has now become that sin. And the day the sin is being afflicted and sin is being dealt with, you will not be spared. You have made yourself one with the omission. And when God introduces a vaccine, into the body to deal with sin it's a disease not given to you it's a disease given to the sin so that sin is dealt with and sin is stopped from multiplying and you become sick because you have made yourself one with what with that particular sin that's the only way you can explain how is it that a man comes and he is sick and you start by forgiving him son your sins are forgiven what has this got to do with that you thought it was your disease it was never your disease it is the disease of your sin if we are to take away sin, then the disease has to follow after the sin and you are left healed. You were never sick after all. So that was so profound, so um, intriguing to note that uh, we have been living with a lot of things that we didn't know we were attracting just by allowing sin to be a part of our lives. In a nutshell, those are some of the things that I learned from the man of God, Prophet Emmanuel Makandio. Thank you.